uh, today I am making Turkish tea. Uh, for those of you who are new to the art of making Turkish tea, you're in for a bit of a treat because uh, there's a certain ceremonial quality, I think, that um, goes into the preparation of Turkish tea, which sets it apart from some of your other instant tea varieties, which I also love, by the way, and I drink all the time. But if you want something a little bit out of the ordinary and a little bit special, then give this a shot. It really is well worth the effort and it is ideal on a cold winter's night. Um, so the items that you will need to make this tea is a two-piece teapot like so. This is one that my mum bought me and I love it. Now if you don't have a two-piece teapot and you have just say a kettle and separately like a porcelain pot then you can use that porcelain pot in, in place of this smaller pot and just pop it on top and you put your tea leaves in there. Um, it works just as well. You also need some fresh tea leaves, which you can pick up from any Turkish or Middle Eastern grocer. I um, I just use a different one every month, so there isn't a specific one that I recommend. But if you don't have fresh tea leaves and you have uh, tea bags, by all means use those. Um, they work. They work well. They do the job. God, um, God knows I've used them many a time. I typically use English breakfast tea or Lipton tea. Now, I also like to add Earl Grey to my Turkish tea blend. Um, I think it gives a really nice aroma, but if you don't like Earl Grey, then you can also use cloves, or uh, my mother-in-law likes to put cinnamon sticks in her tea, which, which are really lovely. So, up to you really, but that's what you need. So you're gonna need this smaller pot for the tea leaves. Typically, I use one tablespoon of tea leaves per serving. Uh, so I'm making this for my husband and I, and we will typically have about two glasses each. So I'm going to use four uh, tablespoons of tea leaves but because I am blending my my mix with uh, the Earl Grey I usually have a three to one ratio so I have three tablespoons of the Turkish tea leaves and one tablespoon of the Earl Grey if you've decided to omit the um, Earl Grey then just go four tablespoons of your Turkish tea blend so let's do it so this is my Turkish tea about three tablespoons here and with my Earl Grey, I am going one tablespoon. God, this tea smells amazing. Oh, I can't even describe it. It's just so floral and perfumey. Okay, that's my Earl Grey. Now, another sort of little tip uh, for when you're making Turkish tea. Can you see my kids? They're supervised. Okay, no one's killing each other, I promise. Um, another tip is to just uh, rinse your tea leaves out and that tends to awaken the tea leaves and it enhances the flavor that, flavor that little bit more. You don't need to rinse it for more than a few seconds. Give it a swirl and you tip it out. And you want to use the bigger pot uh, to fill up with water. You can fill it up with filtered water if you're feeling particularly precious. I'm going to rough it out today by just using tap water all the way to the top. And you put this on your stove. I've just put my tea set on the stove and I've put the heat on medium to high heat. Um, and the idea here is to let the bottom pot come to a boil. This should take about 10 to 12 minutes and we then want to use the water from the bottom pot and pour it into the top pot where we have our tea leaves. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes and the water in the bottom pot has come to a boil. So what we want to do is pour this water into the smaller pot with the tea leaves and pour it all the way to the top. And then we're going to refill the uh, pot with the water with just some more tap water. Okay, that'll do. Now we just want to refill this pot with some tap water, like so. And then you pop your smaller pot back on top of the larger one. And you uh, put the heat back onto about medium high and you wait until the bottom uh, pot comes to a boil once more. And then you let it simmer for about 15 minutes or so. So the whole process should take about half an hour to 45 minutes. 
The water in the larger pot has come to a boil, so now we want to reduce the heat to low and just let the water simmer for a further 15 minutes or so. Um, a really good indicator to know whether your tea is ready is when the tea leaves have sunk to the bottom. Um, ours almost have, so it's very close. Okay guys, time to down this baby. <laughs> Now you do need a strainer if you are using fresh tea leaves. So I usually fill about three quarters of the cup with my black tea and the remainder with the water. But you can obviously use any strength you like. You can, if you want something a little bit lighter then perhaps fill it about a third of the way or whatever combination you like. Here we go. Cheers guys. Oh, it's so beautiful. Make a cup of tea for yourselves or for your loved ones and have a great night. See ya.